Shalom brothers and sisters in Christ, let's dive into the word. This week we begin the season of Advent and generally in the first week of Advent we look at the theme of hope and when we speak about hope we know that it is applied to something that we do not have yet for something that we long for, that we desire to have and hope doesn't generally stand on its own. To have hope we need to have faith, we need to be able to have courage, to trust, to have humility and to also be able to dream for something that we do not have yet. And we see this in the gospel today through the example of the centurion who went up to Jesus with, to ask him to heal his servant who was ill. And what's interesting is that he did not take the servant along with him to meet Jesus. And St. John Chrysostom tells us this, that his faith, the centurion's faith was so great that he knew that only a command was needed from Jesus for his servant to be healed and he thought that it was unnecessary to bring him along. Such great faith the centurion had that his hope would be fulfilled by just a command of by just the command of Jesus. Sometimes in our own lives there may be areas that is hard for us to take to Christ, hard for us to carry and to show it to him, maybe because it is too painful maybe because it is too heavy and maybe through the example of the centurion we can practice what he did is that we go to him with full of faith that he that Christ can still heal us with whatever it is that we are going through with whatever it is that is weighing us down that is holding us back and um when the centurion says that, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We would recognize this from words that we repeat just before we go to receive the Eucharist. And the centurion in saying this, he recognized how little he was. Yet at the same time, he did not allow this littleness to weigh him down. But what he did was that he placed himself in the greater power of God, the power of God that will bring life through all things, even his unworthiness. That is where he placed his trust is trust in. That is where he placed his hope in, in the power of God. And that is where we are called to place our trust as well, to recognize that we cannot do it on our own, but we need Christ to come help us, to receive, to f- so that the hope that we long for will be fulfilled. And during this season of Advent, we prepare ourselves to celebrate Christmas, to celebrate the birth of Christ. And during this time, it can be so easy to think that Christ comes for the glamour and the beauty of the season. But what Christ really comes for is our own heart. And in the midst of all the preparation, um, we may forget this. And we may begin to look at other things that are not as important as our hearts. And we begin to see that um, maybe we do not have enough decorations, we do not have enough of anything and we begin to place our worth there and we begin to see that, oh, I'm not good enough to celebrate, to receive, I'm not worthy enough to celebrate this season. I do not have enough of uh, decoration of lights, of what food, of clothes, whatever it is, I have not done enough. It can be so easy to go down that hole and to forget that Christ came for our own hearts. So brothers and sisters, I just want to invite you uh, that during this season, we focus more on our hearts. We focus more on what our hearts are like and to be able to be like the centurion, to have zeal, to have zeal for Christ. At the end of the gospel, we see that Jesus marvels and honors the centurion for his zeal and this is the zeal that we long for, that we long to have as we celebrate Christmas as well. So my brothers and sisters, whatever it is that is worrying us, that is weighing us down during this time, may we be like the centurion and not let that hold us back, but to still go to Christ full of hope, full of faith, full of courage, and to allow Him to raise us from that, and to allow Him to work His wonders and power during this time. We do this with the hope of the season, with the hope of Christ. 
My brothers and sisters, I pray that you have an advent like never before and that you will encounter Christ in a special and unique way this season. God bless.